shall give his angels charge over Dwayne. That's right. They ain't a bully with my name on it. He ain't done with me yet. Come on, man. Honey, they ain't no fire yet. He ain't done with me yet. Lord. Somebody raise their hand and say, God ain't done with me yet. Yeah. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but this is the God of a second chance trying to minister to you this morning. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. We didn't even get to the good part yet. <laughs> I told you this was finger licking good, isn't it? Yeah. Look at verse 17. Mm. Cry yet, sin. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, My cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. Yeah. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise How many know cry means to proclaim? Yeah. Isn't that what I'm doing today? I'm trying to proclaim the good news. Yeah. What is the good news? That prosperity shall be yet spread abroad in my cities. Everybody say, I'm a, I'm a city. Where is that found at, saints, for those Bible scholars? Isn't that found in Matthew chapter 5? Somewhere, I, 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 <laughs> my God. Somewhere around, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, yes, praise the Lord. Matthew 5, 14. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You are a light. A city set on a hill that cannot be healed. How many say I'm a city this morning? Didn't the Bible say in my cities shall be blessed or have prosperity? If you are a child of God, then you should be blessed. Now what are we talking about when he says prosperity? Prosperity means overflow. Everybody say overflow. Overflow. How many know what that really means? It's time for us to get out of the puddle of blessings and move into the ocean of blessings. Right. We used to just, I'm getting out the bayou, I'm sorry. I'm getting out the little ditch where, listen, I grew up catching crawfish in ditch. And then I realized, hold on, that better. I'm moving from here and going to bigger and better. How many ready to go from bitter, bigger to better? Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, the Bible says, cry yet, saying unto my people. Yeah. My city shall be blessed with prosperity. A spirit of overflowing. 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 And to move us from a puddle of blessings to a river of blessings, you'll find that in Psalms 23, verse 5. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with all my cup. Run it over. How many ready for their cup to run over? Uh, how, how, how many know when you carry a cup and it's running over, what's ever in the glass, you get a part of it? No. How many know what's ever on my life, you get a part of it? Hallelujah. My cup run it over. And when your cup run it over, your children get it. Amen. Your children's children get it. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The people on your job get it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And overflow. Why? Why, saints? Because the Bible says, And the Lord shall comfort Zion. How many know, here's what he's talking about prosperity, young man. Comfort means to heal us or to deliver us. He said, I sent a comforter. He says, and the children of Zion shall be what? Comforted. How many need a healing today? How many need a deliverance today? Then this word is for you today. And he said, why? Because I have chosen Jerusalem. Why? Because Jerusalem represents peace. And God's given us the peace that passes all man's understanding. The Bible says, my peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Hallelujah. There should not be anything that's going to shake us. Make us easily bend in the wind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to stand on sound doctrine. Everybody say sound doctrine. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says when they went out to see John the Baptist, Jesus said, what did you go out there to see? A reed shaking in the wind? You know what that really means? It means did you go to see somebody unstable every time the wind blows? One day you believe in this, the next day you don't believe in it. One day I believe this, the next day I don't believe in it. What did you go to see? A reed shaking in the wind? How many know if you're going to serve God, you need to be solid as a rock? Come on. Yes, no. Yes, and I ain't changing it for nobody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You understand that I'm not changing when God says marriage is between a man and a woman. That's right. Come see me 30 years from now, the Lord Terry, I'm going to still be saying. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Say, what did you go to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? 
Say, but those are in beautiful houses. He said, but what did you go to see, a prophet? He said, much more than that. Anytime you show up to the house of God, you don't want to come see who's there and who's not there. You coming for a word. You coming for a breakthrough. You coming to say, only God can satisfy what I have to do. I can tell less what kind of hat you have on, what kind of this or that. God needs to show up. Amen. Somebody said one time, you know, you know what type of money shows up the church more than anybody? Washington. I said, well, let me tell you what else shows up, brother, more than anybody else. Pride show up. Come on. Hatred shows up. Come on. I remember the Lord blessed me with this. He said, he said, if Adam and Eve is the first, mm -hmm. then why is there racism in the church? Oh, if we've all come from Adam and Eve, then why is there racism in the church? Why is there genderism in the church? Why is there economicisms in the church? Why is there division in the church? Why? Because they don't want to hear the truth. That's right. Amen. What is the truth? There's only one God, and His name is Jesus Christ, whereby men can be saved. Yes. Folks tell you, pray to Adonai, pray to Buddha. Uh, you can die and come back again. No, that ain't the God of a second chance like that. You get a second chance as long as you're breathing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants to bless us this morning, saying, with pros prosperity. My God, anybody want to get blessed this morning? I'm talking about blessed with health. I'm talking about blessed with spiritual quickening, spiritual awakening. When you read something, you understand why you're reading it. Amen. My God, somebody going to understand in a minute. <laughs> Amen. How many know the prophet Zechariah? He's talking to angels. How many know what that really means? Can I tell you what it means, Internet saying? That means he's talking in Revelation. Flesh and blood and is not giving this to him. He done went into the heavenlies. And how many know if you want to change your situation, you got to tap into the heavenlies? Right. Hallelujah. You can't, you can't call Bill or Barry or Carol and the story rolls on just like a wheelbarrow. You got to get in touch with Jesus. Whoa. The Bible says the prophet was talking to the angels. Hallelujah. Amen. My God. My God. Internet saints, if this message has been a blessing, we, we ask you to keep listening. Uh, go to the East Story and get the message. We're tough to pray in at the end of it. Uh, keep emailing me. We love you. God bless you. Amen. We hope you have enjoyed this word from the Lord. If what you have heard has been a blessing to you, this sermon is available in its entirety on CD or cassette at our East Store. And I want to take this time to offer to you the greatest opportunity made to man. I'm speaking about salvation, life after this life. Have you made preparations for your ultimate destination? The Bible declares in John that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish, but have life everlasting. The truth is, God loves you. God wants the best for you. God's made a way for you. If you want everlasting life, if you want to know that God has made a way, if you want to know for a surety, that heaven is your determined destination with God and hell is not for you. Please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I believe you died for me and rose again. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are now my Lord and my Savior. I give you lordship over my life, and I receive you now as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen and amen. Now, if you pray that prayer with me, welcome to a new home. Welcome to a new way of living. Please write us. We want to hear from you. I want to hear about your life-changing decision. I hope to hear from you soon. God bless.